a comedian and an actor. He appears on the HBO series Curb Your Enthusiasm. Please welcome the Prince of Pain, Richard Lewis. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. You're looking at Jackass the Man. Yeah. My whole life. Yeah. Before I got sober, I was a jackass every day. In fact, I had a tail that grew out of my ass. You didn't know that, did you? A meat tail? I don't know what it was. Never mind. Good luck with the film. It'll be a smash. Yeah. I miss you. Are you better? You feeling better? Yeah, I'm feeling very good. This is not a stroke. Because I'm not even allowed to say the word stroke, because I could just collapse. And I'd be, you know, you don't need the PR, but you kicked ass on the Emmy. Oh, thank you. you no, that's okay. Ass. We don't need to do that. No, that's no, no, no. Let me tell you why. I'll tell you why. You know why? Yes. Because when you do that kind of thing, every one, a billion people are watching, and you have everyone... A in billion town. people were well, watching? Yes, a billion people. I'm glad no one told but me that. But no, it's harder than that. What? I once did this thing where I, you know, I had was to present, not to host. And I, I flew to Paris. I said, I'm going to write an ad lib in front of Morrison's grave. That's how freaked out I was. I right. was like nuts, you know. <laughs> right. Because uh, it was like the Golden Globes kind right. of thing. Right, right. Because, you know, you know, I really, it's, a, it's an important thing. And then everyone's shouting out in front of, Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. And I'm going to go into a Franz Kafka playing Jim with the Wright Brothers joke. It's over. <laughs> so what you had to do for two, three hours, you know. <laughs> well, I want to hear that to see you and you were great. Thank that's you. So I had to just tell now, you. I want to congratulate you because that's what? what show business is all about. Oh, you just congratulate me and I congratulate you. You're on the I funniest... want to stroke you. I dig you, man. I want you to stroke me. Uh, you were on. <laughs> I can't. I really. I yes, might... you can. No. yes, you can. Yes, um, uh, you can. Yeah. You're on like the, the Curb Your Enthusiasm. Great I think show. it's one of the funniest shows. You're on that show. You must be having a good time. Yes. Tell us about it. Yes. Dig this, Larry David. Larry David. It's his show. I, I just I just come on every couple of weeks, and uh, he's he's a you know he's just. He's so hip and, uh, and great. I knew him since I was 12. I went to this camp, and I hated his ass. He was a jerk. He was a jerk-off. <laughs> you guys were in camp together? At 12, and, all right? And I was a jerk-off. Right. Jackass. Let me just, you know, you don't need to, you know. It, we Thanks. were both jackasses, okay? Right, right. We fought. We had fist fights. 13 years later, we were both comics at the, at the Improv, which was no longer here, sadly, in New York. And we dug each other's act. And then one night, I'm looking at him, I'm like, I hate you, man. I hate you. It was like Roman Polanski. It was like a scary thing. And I said... You just looked at him for no reason and well, said, I, I hate hated you? his ass. He was a jackass when he was 13. 12 years later, I didn't right. recognize I him. See, I see, I see. Except the eyes. I felt, the, I felt some kind of demonic crap going on. <laughs> so we sat down. I went, you're that guy? You're that jackass? And we, we started fighting again at the right. improv bar. But, you know, so now when I do the show, it's all ad lib. And it's a trip, man. And it's a great show, and he deserves it. You know, he's, he's a brilliant man, and, he, and he's an old friend, so it's really cool. It's nice that you worked out your, your stuff. Now, let me talk about your... your... <laughs> well, we did some really weird shows on him. I mean, we, you know, he has some great people. He had some... We did a show with, with the Lakers, which actually ruined me sexually for about a, five months. Let's talk about that. What went wrong? Well, I think I have a decent penis. Because, I mean, unless, unless a lot of women have lied to I'm not married. By the way, you're still married, right? Yeah, Fantastic. yeah, yeah. It's been a whole eight months. Yeah, really? really yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. great. Uh, Sorry, I, I ladies. Never, well, I, I, never, you could, I never made that commitment I break a yet. lot of hearts. I got a great girlfriend going on five years, right. two hours, 18 seconds. You know what I'm saying? But I, uh, we don't live together yet. She lives a mile away, and she's creeping down slowly. It'll be fine, you know. So but, you can't commit. She's, she, you've been no, together five she, years, no, and you can't... No, she's not rushing to commit to this jackass, she dig? So, I mean, she loves me. I love her. But when I... And, and, and we have good sex, okay? And if our parents are watching, look, come on. We, so we have sex. Uh, we have sex. We're not puppets. We're not puppets. We, we, I actually do it. What are you it. talking about? Oh, because my... <laughs> my, girl, my girlfriend's parents... Whose pu who, who's parents no, are saying you're puppets? Because parents don't like to uh, visualize their daughter going bit of bang, bit of bang. Yeah, so they want you on TV selling? No, we I have sex? told her parents that we don't really screw. We have puppets doing it that look oh, like us. Oh, oh, okay. But I went to that the... probably makes them feel real good about the whole thing. Well, they think I'm a jerk, but they don't. Right, but right. rather, they rather have two puppets doing that than me putting it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Man, well, isn't that true? You understand what I'm talking about? Well, yeah. You're a hip audience. Yeah. Actually, my best audience, and they're great, are old Chinese men on opium. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're great. They. We, walk I was about to mention them on the Telestrator. That's a whole back. No, I love the Chinese. The no, no, no. I love the Chinese. Anyway, so. Dig this. I, so you Larry, do a show at, with the, at, the, at the forum. At the forum. I with the Lakers. No, no, at the Staples Center. With the Lakers. And Shaq was the guest star, too. Right. So Larry says, and he was great. Shaq's a good guy. So he said, let's go back. And this is like two, like a year and a half ago. 
and they were all they were practicing and, and they were naked. So Shaq. Did the, the Lakers practice naked? No, this happened before. They, oh, they, oh, they oh. shoot the show five months in advance. Okay, I see. It was see, during I see. the playoffs. Right. So for some reason. He went back to the locker room. Yeah. yeah. Larry said, "We got to thank him." I said, oh, "Fine, whatever you want." And uh, so I go there, and Shaq, you know, he's a man. I'm a man. Okay. But he's seven three. Mm -hmm. How come? It, why isn't his head the size of like five? You know, gigantic basketballs. I don't understand it. it doesn't right. make it right. because I look down at another man's. Penis. Yeah. I'm a man too. Yeah. Well, come on. Okay. I didn't. I actually said I started shaking like I had some kind of disease and I was shaking, <laughs> like like Marley's ghost, and I went and I actually said to Shaq, Conan, I went, what is that? <laughs> and he, to another man, and he had no idea. <laughs> Kid, can I stand up with a camera? Can you get me standing up? Oh, please. We're going to see now. It, he has this on a sled like All Rose, right. bud. It has to be a foreign exchange student. Has to be. I have never seen anything like it. It has to be a tax deduction. I went home immediately, and I got... I, got, I went home immediately. I went home. Johnny, join me at the window, Johnny. So I went home, so dig this. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time, Conan. I don't have a lot of time. Oh, what? I have no time. You asked me this question. I'm answering you. So I, I think I asked you, how are you? And then we got here. I don't, no, think, I, don't think, I don't think the question was, let's talk about Shaq's penis. It's not here. No, you it's asked me about penis. the show. It was the, it was the toughest show. So I went home and I took off my pants. And I was... Oh, what? no, we want to hear about your pants coming no, off. No, I looked at my own pants because I, I just saw something that was hanging like a salami. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and my penis looked like a semicolon. I almost had a nervous breakdown. So that's it. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. All right, come on. All right, this is something else. I'm in a sexual mood. I miss my girlfriend. All right, go on. Ask me. Now ask me a question. We got I, no I, time. I... Uh, <laughs> oh, this was great. Tomorrow night, Rich is going to be performing at the Beacon Theater here in New York City. And Curb Your Enthusiasm airs Sunday nights at 10 on HBO. Richard Lewis!